how to customize the toolbars in Illustrator CC 2019. Now you can actually change your toolbar in Illustrator finally. So you can actually modify it in numerous ways. So you can remove stuff if you want. You can add multiple toolbars. You can add a, you've got a basic and an advanced toolbar. Now the basic one is just got your standard tools that you use most of the time, and you've got advanced. It's got the full set of tools. Right. What you can do, there's one of the ones I've created earlier called it's there, pass, not very original. Now, advanced, you've got the advanced one there. You can go right down to the bottom, there's a little edit toolbar. Click on that, and what you can do, you can see you've got the different, there you've got lasso tool, you've got various tools, you can just drag them, just drag them across. So you just go down there, you can see the different tools there, slice tool, just drag that across from there. So if it's available, you can see it's highlighted, it's available for you to add to the thing. What you can also do, you can go the other way. You just click on the actual tool, just like magic wand, etc. Just drag it across and you'll add it to that, to all the tools. Ones you are not using are highlighted. Ones that are actually currently in there are actually, obviously you can just see them grayed out. You can also change whether you have uh, the colours. You can just there, you can go down the bottom, there's a whole range of different. You can just click on those and you can remove them as you want. Basically, I'll keep the full set personally. Right, so there's all those there. Now, say you don't use, say you don't use type tool or touch tool or whatever, you've got blob tool, you can just drag it over very quickly into that extra set of tools. So you just quickly drag it over. So just select, just drag it. Sometimes it doesn't particularly work, so it just won't seem to do it, but it does do it. You can just drag up, yep, it's just dragged there, and you can see it suddenly becomes type tool there. Now, obviously, I use type tool a lot, so I'm not going to leave it there. So I can just drag it back very quickly. And again, sometimes it like works, sometimes it doesn't. Right, there it is. You've got the type tool added there, back again. And you can select other. So there might be some tools you don't use, maybe vertical type. I never use vertical type. I've never used vertical type, so I would obviously just remove it from the advanced. I don't want that. Again, there, just... Now, sometimes what happens, unfortunately, the actual control will actually create something. So it will actually, I've had perspective, it just pops up. So uh, that's slightly awkward, but... I'll just select there, and again, like the graphs. I never use the graph. You can reset them. If you're unhappy with the whole changes you made, you can just say reset. And all of them again, so you can see they're all back in the advanced tools there. Now I've got one over there that I've just closed. Let's come to that one. I'm just going to slice tool. Never use a slice tool particularly, so you just drag that over there. You can see you can see what happens. Now it might actually just create it further down, so it's not creating it in the position that you drag across to. So if you don't see it, it is probably further down or maybe further up in that scrolled list. That's another thing. Right, so there you've got tools there, view, up window, and toolbars, and pass. Now you want to create a new toolbar, just go there, new toolbar. Go basic if you want, new toolbar, and give it a name, X, Y, Z, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to go for warp, click OK, and you can see it's very basic. Now I'm just going to drag it over a bit. So you can see it's just got the standard set again, just to use the edit toolbars, and you've got the whole lot. Obviously you've got no tools currently in the toolbar, so if you just go through there, look for a tool that you like, just drag it over and drag, put, put that little icon into there, select that one and drag, drag that over. Sometimes it just doesn't do it, it just suddenly disappears, but you can just drag it a few times and it will go in. So you can select that, just drag it, yep, you can see it little plus appears, and that's it, it's just stored it there and you can just drag any of them. And then you can also move them around, so you don't actually have to keep them in the position you want. So uh, that it puts it, so you can just get rid of that. Right, manage toolbars, you can just see the toolbars you've got, warp and pass. You can delete that if you don't want that one, or create a new one as well. You can also change the name as well, so you can just go to warp tools, click OK once you're happy with that, and you can see the change there, click OK. I say you can actually select there itself and actually go to the actual tools themselves and just drag them around if you don't want them in that particular position. And it'll work exactly the same as before with the tools. So if you select, say, the circle or lips, it will actually appear in the advanced as well as actually within that customized one. There's the warp tool, just changing there. Right, 
That's a quick run through of the toolbar. Hope you find this interest. Thank you much.